Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. Time for a TVZ featuring Bunny and Lambo here on Alcyone. Bottom uh, top right, rather, it's going to be Bunny. Bottom left, it is Lambo. Uh, so, two really, really great players here. Not quite the top tier of StarCraft. But they are in the second tier, and I want to see how they do against each other here today. Pretty good game, I feel like, is going to go on here today. Bunny is a Korean, but not quite as, you know, not quite as scary as somebody like Mario, right? And Lambo is a German Zerg player. I think pretty much the only German Zerg player that I can think of here. I know there are more, but anyway, 16, 18, 17 timing here from Lambo. Early gas here from Bunny. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Yeah. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's just the standard timing for a Reaper expand here while I was rambling. I do lose track of time while I'm rambling sometimes. Yeah, fully saturating it. And yeah, it's just going to be Reaper expand timing here from Bunny Lambo says, all right, got ourselves a pool coming up and time to get Lings to deal with that Reaper. The optimization of the early game of StarCraft 2 here is fully on display. 56 gas and there we go. Reaper. So, no second gas early. Very good. So we're going to go ahead and expand here. Scout with the SCV to make sure it's not a pool first. Very good. I don't know why. I don't know why professional Terran players do not scout with this SCV. Sometimes, anyway. Because, yeah, pull first against a one Rax expand. That is super hard to deal with as a Terran. But just making sure that the hatchery is there when you expect it to be fully formed. And then you can send your Reaper across the map. I'm actually out of Reaper names. So yeah, give me Reaper names. Submit them in the comments if you feel like it. If you don't want to, don't worry about it. It's not like it's going to make the cast worse necessarily. What the? Get back here. Following that Reaper. Good stuff. Good. Pulling back the wounded lings. Oh, none of the lings actually died. Drone doesn't die either. Probably didn't have to turn that into a spore, but better safe than sorry. Gets the cancel up. Puts it back to work. And that was actually pretty great defense from Lambo. None of these lings actually died. And a drone didn't die. Our poor Reaper here, whose name is um Richard. Richard the Reaper. Some people call him Dick. I don't know if that happens anymore. Is anyone actually called Dick these days, like Dick Van Dyke? Probably not. Probably falling out of favor with names like Gertrude. All right, but Reaper hopping away at the third base. Uh, could spread some creep over here. This tumor's ready to go. There it is. Spreading the tumor over this way. Throwing a creep tumor down there. Wants the tumor bad. Does get it. And dies for it. So kills the tumor, but gets wiped out too. That's not super great. Not exactly what you want. Third CC started sub three minutes. How many times have we said that over the years, right? Got a tech lab for upgrades. Going to get that stim first. Let's see if Lambo goes for the Roaches, right? A lot of Zerg players are big, heavy fans of Roaches right now against Terran and against Protoss. And I mean, they've always been good against Zerg, but... Kind of, uh... Kind of changing the meta a little bit here. Remember what I said about optimization in the early game? Oh, we are seeing some changes into the meta, into the mid-game and the late game from Zerg especially, so... We will see. I mean, at this point, I think we'd have a Roach Horn thrown down already, though. Although Lambo's not doing anything. He's not getting a Baneling Nest. He's not upgrading to a Lair. He's getting Queens out. He's defending with Speedlings and Queens against the Hellion stuff, which is great. And as soon as he decides to actually get down some extra gas, maybe upgrade to a Lair, maybe get a Baneling Nest, then we will see what his plans are. But for now, it's just super macro. Ling gets in. Ah, he sees the Starport and the Factory and the two racks. That's just 2 one, one build. With the fast third CC, which the Ling scouts too. Whew. So what's Lambo's response to this? Well, make three more drones. <laughs> He's like, you know what? Drones, drones, drones. All the time drones. Mining through this mineral wall to get a fourth base. Oh, getting a fourth base? Yeah, he saw the fast third. Absolutely get a fourth base. I love this from Lambo. 
It is tough to get that scout off. I can't believe he got that Ling inside. I think everybody was distracted by the Overlord. And therefore, the wall was down. The Ling got in. I think a buddy of his did die on that. Yeah, one of his Ling. No, that's actually him that died. So yeah, one of the Lings went out by himself. Got all the way across the map. I got a full scout off. That's a very brave Zergling, man. He should get his name on the wall. Banely Nest coming in. Lair on the way. There we go. Taking our extra gases. Gassing up. One gas here. One gas here, interestingly enough. Double Evo Chamber. Kind of splitting up where his extractors are. I don't know what that's all about, but all right, friend. But no Rotorn. It's going to be Lings. It's going to be Banes. It's going to be Queens dealing with whatever is thrown his way here from Bunny. And Bunny's going for a drop. So six Banelings, seven Banelings in production. Banelings in good position on creep can deal with these Marines pretty well. Generally well, for sure. So we'll see how that works out. Centrifugal Hooks is getting fired up at a pretty good time. Not going to be ready for any kind of this engagement, though. Any way to be able to deal with this is not going to have speed, ling or speed Banelings available. Queen's in position to deal with this. Did he see it? Did that Overlord catch a glimpse? He's in a great position to deal with this, man. Ah, uh, yeah, trying to kill a queen. Transfuses are good here. I'd love to see a tumor down here, but this tumor spreading the creep pretty well as it is. Boney says, ah, I have been rebuffed. I'll take out my aggression on that debris. More Banelings coming in. Centrifugal Hooks could not finish any sooner for Lambo here. Nice, beautiful surround. Two Marines die. Not everybody dies, but you take the little wins when you can get them. Hydroden coming in here too. Does Lambo know about Hydroling Bane and Viper and how it's good as an infestation pit too? <gasps> He's doing Hydroling Bane Viper. Excellent. He's not trying to go for Ultras. He's not trying to go for Broodlords. Not trying to go for Lurkers probably. He might go for some Lurkers actually, but we'll see. We'll see. Centrifugal Hooks done. All right. Is it time to go? Once Centrifugal Hooks is done, that's kind of an, a go time. Tumor's wiped out, creep receding. It's harder to engage here, but I think, yeah, I think Lambo's okay with Bunny sitting in this spot for now. It's when the tank gets closer is when it gets tough. Yeah, he's wrapping around the backside. I think it's time to go. Yeah, at the very least, you're gonna get this tank. And how fast is the pickup? Pretty fast, Hellbats. One gets picked up, one dies, tank dies. Beautiful surround, man. Lambo playing extremely well in this game. I'm impressed. This might be the best I've seen Lambo play in a while. Dropped up here at the natural base. Any drones die at all? Maybe one drone died, but that was pretty well dealt with. And then the attack on the right side. This is where Zerg's kind of started to fall apart, but the pickup wasn't great there from Bunny. So he actually slips up a bit there. The reaction time from Lambo was good enough. The pickup time was not that great from our Bunny. So, oh, Lambo, feeling pretty good. Drop up here does get four drone kills, nothing too crazy. On the other side of it, Drilling Claws are coming in. I'm gonna see some of these Widow Mines, which Zergs do struggle to deal with, but Hydras outrange the Widow Mine. So, Hydras can clear out Widow Mines really, really easily. Which is why things like Ultras aren't quite as good here against the Terran, especially who's going Widow Mines, because they can't outrange anything. Beautiful. Not like the quickest response, but not bad. Getting that Widow Mine to fire on a single Zergling is not what it wants to do. There's still there's still a dropship back here. That's incredibly annoying. That is incredibly annoying that you have to worry about this guy. He's got these dudes on patrol back here, just in case anybody shows up. Fifth base coming in from Lambo at the gold. Bunny constructing a fourth base now on the right side. Looking all right. Hydra speed. Excellent. Plus two ground carapace. Great. Adrenal getting fired up. Okay. On the other side, sensor tower. Plus two, plus two. For the Terran infantry. And no ghosts as of yet. But again, if your opponent's going Hydraling Bane, Viper, I guess you try to snipe the Vipers. Sniping a Hydra is okay too. Ah, uh, fifth base might actually die because Lambo was not in a position to save it. Okay, cool. So fifth base just straight up dies. Oh, drop. Back down here at the natural base, everybody's dead. And then dropping back in the main base. Drones dying here too. 12 drones dead. 
13 drones dead. Is there another attack somewhere I don't know about? Where is... Wow, that spawning pool dying would have been a pretty big deal. Spore shots, no queen to finish picking off that medevac. That's a huge deal. Counterattack, Idrilling Bane into a base. It's not a planetary yet, but enough marines and a couple marauders and widow mines here to force Lambo back. I still think he could have pushed in there. Ah, a couple hiders get left behind, get obliterated without really taking too much damage at all. What is killing more drones? Where? Oh, the widow mines that dropped in here. Okay, all right, 25 drones have gone down now. Bunny has done some good economic damage to Lambo. I don't know if Lambo has enough here. That fifth base is going to get canceled or killed again. Canceled is on the menu. Yes, Widow Mines. Widow Mines are so good. Ugh, good connection there. Pretty good split there. Really good split there. But you need to be engaging on creep. Does something just kill eight more drones? Or eight? What? Okay, real quick. Is it just from the previous? Okay, so it was seven that we had, and then this guy dies and turns it into eight. No, he doesn't. Somebody else is eight. Who else is eight? Okay, I don't know. I don't know where the eighth drone is, but whatever. Widow Mine's dying, but getting the work done. 111 to 78 army supply. Bunny is up. That group forces a kill. Oh, forces a cancel on this attempt at a fifth base here. He's all over the place. Bunny's micromanaging and multitasking has been insane in this game. Liberators are being added into the mix here. Not my favorite pick when there are hiders around. Good pick off on that medevac. Again, killing medevacs is a good way to slow this down. And it's DBT. Without a doubt. More hydras in production. 10 at a time. Fusion core on the way. Probably for advanced ballistics. Attacking in to this entrenched position. Baneling's getting connection. Siege tank sieges up. Doesn't really get much done there, but Lambo fell back anyway. But this is why I say Hydraling Baneling Viper. Abducting tanks. Blinding cloud on marine positions, right? Parasitic bomb on medevacs. If you're trying to do this without vipers, it's a lot harder. And he is trying to get vipers. It just feels late for that, you know? Maybe he was hoping to get up a fifth base and then get into viper production, but he's doing it now. Making it happen now, but it is really not enough banelings, I don't think, to do this. It's a lot of hydras, though, and they do have good upgrades. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna begrudge him that. Okay, trying to expand left side again. There's nobody in the general vicinity here for Bunny to shut that down, but he's taken his gold base now, upgraded that to a planetary. Excellent stuff. Liberator shows up. Advanced Ballistics are here. Yeah, Lambo's in a lot of trouble economically, yeah? Mm, we got a quick glimpse of that income tab. Aimling does nothing. See, Hydra's wiping out Widow Mines. That's what they're here for, for a lot of it. Advanced Ballistics, yes, going down. Viper, they're probably sucking energy off of a hatchery somewhere. I see him, I see him. I see their tails whipping about. Excellent, excellent. Okay, here goes nothing. Abducting the Liberators, nicely done. They go down, free Liberators are free. Tank dies too, Bunny. In full retreat mode, but can fall back to a planetary. Is there enough, though? Nice parasitic bomb on the Metavax. Is there enough to take down that planetary? Banelings getting in there? No! Bunch of SCVs go down. Seven SCVs died. Not enough to take down the planetary, though. And Lambo has to fall back. The macro of Bunny. That income advantage coming into play quite a bit there. And Bunny falls back after making sure this base is not up. But this one is... So 67 to 77 workers, not great for Lambo. Income is still favoring Bunny pretty wildly over the last five minutes. Lurker Den on the way. Ooh, ooh, this actually, hang on. This might actually be kind of genius because Bunny's like, all right, you're not gonna make Lurkers or Broodlords or Ultras. Let's not worry about ghosts. Let's just spend all of our money on, you know, maybe some Vikings. Liberators, Widow Mines, Marines, all sorts of good stuff here. And then he doesn't have ghosts to deal with the Lurkers. <gasps> this might actually be an incredible move from Lambo. 
We'll see if it works out. I'm going to keep watch the, watching the production tab and see if we end up getting a Ghost Academy or not. This guy's pooping creep over here. Very fun. Very fun stuff, dude. So, lurkers. Eight lurkers at a time. We are getting scans, but I don't think they're recognizing the Nidus. When, in the name of all that is holy, did that base die? Was I focusing too much on this lurker stuff? Liberator does not die to a spore. This night is my. Oh, there are ghosts here. I'm an idiot. There's ghosts. There's like a ghost. Where is the ghost academy? Okay. All right. I'm falling apart here. Ghost Academy is over here at the fourth base, way up north. Drop it in the main base, gets wiped out. Okay, I am... Seriously, though, what? Did he... Oh! Oh! He consumed it to death! <laughs> I felt so embarrassed that I missed some, like, big drop or an attack through the middle that wiped out this hatchery, and I was like, ah! How did I miss that? Nope! Bunny killed it. Bunny consumed it to death. Wasn't there some kind of a balance patch recently that maybe made that a little bit harder to do? Still happened anyway. Dude, Queens, help. Help. Help with it. All right. Nidus. There is. Okay. So, like, in, okay, there are eight ghosts now. This drop gets cleaned up. The rest of it swings on into the main base where lings are running in. They have adrenal. They have plus two, plus three. I mean, they are tough little guys. Yeah. Medivac dies. Uh, abducts it to kill it. Does take it down. Sick move from Lambo. Nice abduct. Okay. All right, all right. So we're back on track here. Uh, lurkers exist. Ghosts do exist and are being pumped out four at a time now. So Bunny didn't skip ghosts. Bunny made a ghost academy, just didn't have any of them really until he felt like he needed them. And then I guess he scanned out the lurker den. He scanned the lurkers being made and said, all right, cool. We got this. We'll make some ghosts. We already have the barracks. We have the infrastructure for this anyway. So no worries, we're ready to go. Nice, great split there from Lambo. But early warning system activated. Pretty good split there too. Packing up a ramp into double planetary is a bad move. Do not do this, Zerg players. Do dare, never, never do this. All right, thank you very much. Man, sniping out those Vipers would be pretty sick, but don't want to overextend. New attempt at a sixth, fifth base? Yeah, sixth base gets wiped out. Snipe on the lurkers. This is why I say, God, the lurkers get any value at all? Just dead. Just dead. If you can knight us them back here and plant, and the Terran's not in great position to deal with it, yeah, you can kill a bunch of lurkers back there. But man, lurkers in the middle of the map really struggle. Struggle immensely. Adaptive Talon's coming in. Plus three missile attack coming in. Making 15 more Lurkers. I would argue that the six Lurkers that have died so far have not really done much. I don't think it'd be wrong to say it. Okay, but is there an Overseer coming to kill this? Do you not have Overseers with your army group? There he is. Another Nidus attempt. Also no. Um, This Widow Mine's going to kill this drone, guys. Rad. Yep, just didn't bother having an overseer in your uh, group there. So now it dies, and now you can expand, but that thing is delayed a lot. Kind of needed it. Why are we sending unsupported lurkers on a mission up this way? Okay, well, bunny pushing middle. But this is so many lurkers. My gosh. All right, so yeah, that planetary is dead. Like, there's no saving it. That was like four volleys of a hundred lurkers to kill it. Then a million liberators show up, and it's time to go. It is definitely, you guys, it is definitely time to go. It is time to go. Okay, so all the lurkers that don't go die. This engagement's happening. Bailing's getting decent connections there. Hyder's trying to wipe out the liberators. They're a little bit out of range thanks to the advanced ballistics, but eventually they all die. 
Ghosts, man. Ghosts are good. Another Nidus attempt inside the main base of Bunny. Is he ready for that? Does he see it? This Nidus Swarm is taking his attention for now. This one... Okay, a bunch of Marines show up. They've got Stim and he... Oh, he unloads in Burrows anyway. Oh, bleh, bleh, bleh. Okay, that wasn't great. That was just kind of throwing away three lurkers for absolutely nothing whatsoever. Sensor tower burning down. Will it be repaired? I don't know. Bunny's expanded down this right side. He's throwing up additional orbitals. He can afford to sacrifice some of his SCVs and get a bigger army value now. That's always really good stuff. Three SCVs die thanks to this lurker harass. Five kills on that dude. He's paid for himself. Five kills on a lurker is good enough. 12 o'clock at night is coming in here again. Lambo really heavily, heavily relying on this Nidus stuff to try to get stuff done. But the Liberator count is so heavy, and they can respond to these things so quickly. I don't know if it really works. Forward Nidus here. Lambo's doing a pretty good job. He's killed one base. It's immediately replanted, though, because of course it is. But he's kind of kept Bunny on his back foot for a while now, allowing him to get this gold base up, allowing him to expand here. Maybe expanding here would be next. That Liberator count is heavy enough that I almost would like to see some Corruptors being produced. That is a lot of libs, man. That is 13 Liberators. Snipe, 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 snipe. Snipe, 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 snipe. Abduct, abduct, abduct. All in back. The ghost count. The ghosts, man. Lurker, dead. Lurker, dead. Lurker, not dead. Wings patrol a nuke. I did not see a nuke come through this production tab at all. But hey, we've got it. And it's going to land. And drones will die. Lambo GG's. Oh, wait. Hold on. No, I want to see the nuke. Wow, a game-ending nuclear strike. Dude. Can we get the nuke to land if we just go to Bunny's view? No, wait. No, because Bunny leaves, but there's like this... It's right, my gosh, are you kidding me? It is right at the GG screen. That's crazy. Anyway, GG, Bunny wins with a game ending nuke. Army's dead, nothing good is happening. Gold base is down, bit of a rage quit. Ah, we get to see the burning drones and stuff, but we don't get to see the actual beautiful bloom of the nuke. How disappointing. What a crazy ending to the game there. But yeah, I mean, it just came down to base denial, right? Lambo did a fantastic job killing four hatcheries and canceling at least two more today. One planetary died, 42 drones have gone down, and only 22 SCVs. The Nidus in the main gambit didn't work out. Bunny was all sorts of on top of that, which is very, very good for Terran players to do. This nuke was hilarious. But yeah, I mean, come on. This base is super late. This base, I think, got canceled a couple times. These two bases, wait, 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 no. This base got canceled a couple times. This one never happened because it got canceled. And then Bunny just casually getting a fast third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh base. Income tab looks like this over the last 10 minutes. Not good. Not good for a Zerg to try to deal with that at all. So, yeah, that's a GG. <laughs> That was amazing. What an incredible game there from Bunny. He gets the win. Not really that surprising. But uh, yeah, it was an economic win for sure. The ghosts came out when they were necessary. Lambo did the right thing, but I think he invested too much in lurks. I really do. I would have loved to see corruptors there against the many liberators being produced. The vipers were late too. They were definitely late to the party, which I'm not a huge fan of. If you're going to go Hydroling Bane, get vipers out, right? Anyway... Good stuff, and that's going to be it for me today. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.